Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with ACDC engineer Mike Frazier. If you want to see the full interview, it's linked below. So I know that you only worked with Chris Slade for the first record, The Razor's Edge, and you worked with Five with Phil. Um, but if you had yeah. to compare the two of them as to how they approach drums in the studio, are they similar or is there something different about them? No, they're quite different. Um, now with Chris, that record was recorded before I got involved, though we did do two songs extra songs then it misses misses for christmas and and another one that were I, I don't know where, if they were on that record or added to it in you know like in the japan release or something so i only worked recorded chris on two songs but i find that chris like phil uh wants to destroy his drums you know he hits them so hard it's just and it's really it's kind of hard with phil to get a good sound because you get everything all tuned up nice and after about three hits it just looks <laughs> you know, so it's like recording with Phil is like riding a bucking bronco, and, <laughs> and in Richard Jones is uh, the their drum tech. We'd have about six snares tuned exactly the same, and sometimes you know we'd have to switch the snare out right after one take of the song if they wanted to go for another one. We'd have to put a new snare on because that that snare was dead or gone, or so it's like <laughs> it was like riding a bucking yeah, yeah. bronco. So when we finally got a drum track, me and Richard look at each other and go. <laughs> <laughs> and how was Chris? I guess he was much more and, mellow. And Chris, Chris is a little more technique guy, and he looks like he's you know he's a big mean looking drummer. But if you watch any videos of him, like when he hits a cymbal, the cymbal doesn't move very much. You know, with Phil, he hits it, the cymbal doesn't. <laughs> Chris, he's but he, you know he's more of a technical drummer, uh, a good drummer, but uh, you know not the same technique as as Phil. I hear you. So, I mean, aside from the fact that Phil obliterates the machines <laughs> that, that he's around, which style do you prefer working with as an engineer or producer? Well, like I say, Phil's hard to keep a good sound going because of that. But, he, you know, he is the heartbeat of ACDC. You know, you hear the records with him on, there's like the, even just one snare hit, you know, that there, that's, that's Phil playing that. Mm -hmm. So he's part of the sound, you know. That would be like if Led Zeppelin didn't have John Bonham in it, yeah. it wouldn't have been Led Zeppelin, you know. So that's sort of my my feeling on it. I, I, if it was ACDC, I'd want Phil in there for sure.